All right, Brendan and Buzz here, back with home renovation part two, the yurt. Just kidding, that was a terrible intro. All right, first and foremost, projects continue. We've got the fire pit in already, which is almost there. Still got a couple things to do. If you've seen that video, you know what's up. You know how it went. Now, second project, project number two, is putting a yurt in. This man put a yurt in the East Village in his backyard, which is phenomenal and a remarkable feat in itself. He's from Wyoming, you know? So it's a little piece of the outdoors in the city, which is amazing, but a little taste of home. Little taste of home provided for a lot of beer drinking. But we thought we'd do the same, put an extra bedroom on our house here, which is three bedrooms already, three baths, but now we'll have a fourth bedroom, and the yurt is coming from Portland? Portland. Oregon? Campingyurts.com. Campingyurts.com. Shout out to Richard. That's You're a boss. By Coors Light. Yeah, sponsored by <laughs> Coors Light or about to be. Or any other beer that'll send beers our way. We'll drink them. We just got these things, which are called post-ups. And we're going to lay a foundation for the yurt because it's got to go on something, be elevated off the ground, keep the bugs out, keep the water out. So we ordered some wood, which is over there. We got these post-ups. We're going to hammer them into the ground. Now the yurt we bought is a 14 foot diameter yurt. So we're building a 14 by 14 platform. It'll touch each edge, but just sit there perfectly in the middle. We might build it an inch or two bigger just to make up for it, but that's the plan. Tools you'll need to put in a post up. One, post up, two, back of an X, or a sledgehammer. This is what we got, so we're gonna make it work. All right, so we dropped a string line here, measured directly to keep the parallel off the fire pit coming through, and planted. Our second one there, first one here, and now we've got our square out, and that's looking pretty damn square right off, and we're planting our third one. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Buzz has an idea. A squared, 165 times two equals c squared so square root of that guy if i'm not mistaken 233 all right let's check it <sighs> kind of wing all this stuff this guy's a little more thought out okay. 233 come on 232 and 7 8 this guy i'd say us guys yeah. yeah it's called eyeballing it and uh mathing it don't know if that makes sense but <laughs> here's where the trust comes in now I'm gonna stand on this while he swings an axe <laughs> up and down. God, this is like the twist from the gun, don't they? That is day one out here. I'm gonna clean this up. Go get warm. Back day two, building the platform for the yurt. Just got the post in yesterday, as you saw. Now we're kinda just starting to build the frame and then uh, put all the uh, struts in. Might have had a couple cocktails last night, but hey, contractor love. Perimeter frame is done. You know what time it is though? More cowboy candies. A couple snags along the way, but we got it. I have to say we're making crazy headway here. We got one side fully dialed. This will be the decking we'll put on here once we're uh, done, but yeah, Buzz. I also got this guy working. Taking the city right out of this kid, putting the country in. Essentially, here's what's gonna happen. So we put in this outdoor shower, which is really nice. And I extended the deck, so we opened it up. So you come into the shower. But now we're gonna get rid of this railing. You'll step down, and then it'll be all, it's called Montauk Bluestone, that are square. So you walk along this path, right into the yurt. We'll have a step up here, takes you in, and then there'll be tented yurt right there. Pot belly stove inside to keep you warm in the winter. This, my friends, is a project. I'm super excited to show you guys. We should be done by the end of next week. Three guys. The doggy. 
built the platform. It's not done yet, but anyway, this is looking pretty, pretty sharp. Pretty impressed. You've been waiting for it. We've been waiting for it. What is it, Buzz? Christmas. Year Christmas. Year. The year it's here. It's gonna be a bit of a process to lift this thing, but we're gonna get out of the car, set it up right here. It takes how long? One hour. We're gonna see what's up, but I'm excited to build it. Excited to get into this. It's supposed to rain, but it's not going to anymore, so we are in luck. It's Monday. Let's do this. Okay, so here's what we've got so far. Roofing pieces, ceiling, all the walls, a door, a skylight and canvas for the top and walls. We built this platform thinking we'd order a floor, which we did, but because of the current pandemic, the factory is closed, it's not an essential business, so we don't have a floor yet. That being said, we're still gonna put this thing up and then we're gonna have to creatively slide the floor under the year when it arrives. When will that be? We don't really know. Anyway, it's gonna be pretty cold in here until the floor arrives. So it's gonna be an aesthetic yurt rather than a functional one until that happens. What's next? We're gonna wrap it, we're gonna roof it, we're gonna put the door in, we're gonna put the dome up, and we're gonna drink beers in it. <laughs> oh, look who decided to join us. Mr. Bud Light himself. That's right. Right, Let's get this siding going. All right, guys. Uh, we're just gonna take these little hooks. We're gonna hook them along that red band all the way around. We'll come back. It's like a shower curtain. It's really cute how you wore the red gloves to match the red strap. This looks insane. Can't wait to show you guys what we got for the inside. We got a sick circular rug. We're gonna get a bed. We're gonna build a unit behind the bed. We're gonna get some chairs. Gotta buy a pot belly stove, little wood stove, keep it warm. This is a huge addition to the property. For the final part of the show, I'll be tossing this in a discus form to buzz up there. And we are securing the skylight on the inside. Wow, this is just the coolest. I'm gonna put a nice stone trail in here, some landscaping, some lighting, and that's gonna take you right here. We're gonna put a gate in beside the outdoor shower and you will be, boom, on property. Behind that tree, we have a little bathroom. So you can use the shower, the bathroom, the yurt. More to come as we finish this thing, but that, my friends, is a fun project.